guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I thought I'd do an X Factor shoe collection because me and Lewis were talking about what videos I could film and we thought about doing a shoe, like a, just a normal shoe collection and then we thought no it'd be too long um, and then Lewis said why don't you talk about all the shoes that you've given on X Factor and where they're from and what you wore them for and stuff so yeah that's what I'm going to do. So these are all the shoes. Um, I think there's about 10 pairs, I'm going to go through them one by one, um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first pair I want to talk about are these bad boys. Um, before X Factor, I didn't really wear heels a lot, I was more of a trainer girl, and I still am to a certain extent, but Brian Friedman taught me how to walk in heels and I never went back really. Um, these ones, I think, I don't even think I wore these on stage. I was so lucky because I was um, the last girl left after like week three or four. Um, all the clothes that come in for the girls, I got to keep, which was just unbelievable. Like, it was just, that in itself was like a dream come true. Um, and so they used to put me in outfits to send me outside to pose for pack pictures, which was really fun. Um, like when I was going home, like if I was going, to get in a car to go home or going back to the house or whatever. Um, so these is a pair. Of th these is this is a pair of these shoes um, that I didn't even wear on stage. I literally just wore them for pat pictures and I got to keep them. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't worn them since purely because they are so sparkly. Um, I'm kind of worried that now I'm outside of the X Factor environment, I'm not going to be able to pull them off. Um, but they're from River Island. And they are so nice, like, I really should wear them more often, more often because they are really, really nice. Next pair. The next pair that I want to talk about are these. So they are basically exactly the same, um, except they're not, because obviously these ones are silver, those ones are gold. Uh, these aren't from River Island either. These are from a company called Bebo. Like, I, I've never heard of them. Um, and I've got a feeling I wore these for a group ensemble. Um, it's actually quite hard to remember what I wore each pair of shoes for on the show because obviously we were changing outfits so often um, I get them confused all the time. Um, I think I wore these for the first or second group ensemble. I definitely didn't wear them for a main performance. Um, again, same problem with these as the first ones. I'm really scared now I'm outside of the X Factor environment I'm not going to be able to pull them off. but. Hopefully, um, there's something that I can blog and vlog about, and if I'm going somewhere particularly nice, um, like a wedding or a do of some sort, I can wear these. The next pair that I want to talk about are a personal favourite of mine. It's these bad boys. Um, they are from Topshop, and they're just your standard black strappy heels. Um, the reason they are a personal favourite are because, what well, is because, um, they are so incredibly comfortable, it's unreal. Like, they're really high. Don't give me, they're a bit muddy right now, where I've been out. They are so high, but they are so comfortable, it's amazing. And I think I wore these for when I performed at the Royal Albert Hall, when I performed Let It Go. Um, and I also think I wore them for the Hunger Games premiere um, with my Victoria Beckham dress, which was, again, dream come true. Um, so yeah, anyone who wants Topshop shoes, seriously go and get them because they prove very, very, very comfortable, especially when you're on a night out and yeah, love them. Next pair that I'm going to talk about um, is this pair, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, they're actually a bit muddy now. They are from um, La Sula Boutique. Um, which I believe is owned by Holly from George Shaw and I love these. They're not the most comfortable pair of shoes I've ever owned in my whole entire life, but they are fit. And that's all that matters really, no pain, no gain. Um, yeah, they're just standard white, well, they're kind of cream actually, strappy heels. Um, they are very, very high. No, I've got some makeup on them. They are very, very high, so you need to be quite experienced in wearing heels. Um, if you want to wear a pair like these and the toe is quite uncomfortable but 
nevertheless they look really really nice and you can wear them with like dresses or you can wear them with like jeans I remember when I went back to watch Lewis um, on Britain's Got Talent I wore these with a pair of jeans and yeah it looked good so they're nice the next thing I want to talk about is this <laughs> jokes Lewis just gave me that as a joke um, this is actually obviously a shoe but not a real shoe so can I have my real shoes So the next pair that I'm going to talk about are these bad boys and these are the shoes that I wore um, in my first sing off in X Factor when I sung I Know Where I've Been against Stereo Kicks. Um, when they were first presented to me I thought mm, they're not really that nice um, but then when I put them with my outfit was a, which was a beautiful um, purple two piece I loved them. Um, they're quite an unusual heel. They're like, this bit here is like rubbery. Um, and the straps, if you can see, are quite unusual. The colour's lovely, I do love the colour. Again, they're from Topshop, so they are so, so, so comfortable. I cannot stress how comfortable Topshop heels are. Um, so yeah, I love these. They have a lot of memories, these shoes, um, from when I won my first sing off. And yeah. So I just kept them and I love them and I still wear them two years on or almost two years on. I'm just, I think these are the shoes that I just that I actually wore in my <laughs> Okay, so I've just um <laughs> I've just realised something. Um these are actually the shoes that I wore in my sing off. <laughs> my first sing off um on X Factor. If you look, pass me one of those. They do look quite similar, to be fair. They are quite a similar shoe, um, but anyway, these are the shoes, the actual shoes that I bought. I did wear them on X Factor at some point, I must have because I got them on X Factor, but yeah, these were my X Factor sing off, first sing off shoes, um, and I love them. Again, I'm just going to say what I said about the first pair, they held so many memories. Um, these ones are from Topshop also, however I do remember these not being as comfortable still comfortable but not as comfortable as the first two pairs um, but I do love them, colour is beautiful um, I like the straps on the shoe and the fact that this goes through here and then does up so yeah, love these I cannot remember me no, I can, I can, I can these ones I wore on um, Alan Carr's Chatty Man, I believe, when I was on X Factor. Um, I was on Chatty Man with Fleur, Andrea and Ben, it was the four of us. Um, and I wore these with a red dress and I changed the shoes um, just before I went to the Cosmopolitan Awards in the same red dress, because obviously it was in the same night. Um, these are from Shoe, actually. Um, wouldn't be my first choice of places to get my shoes however I wasn't buying them so um, it's fine I love the colour I do still actually wear these shoes um, with some things I wore them to a um, not recently but oh I wore them to Henley Regatta um, which was fun um, with a lovely cream dress so yep yeah, I'll be keeping these ones for as long as they hold out for So the next ones I'm going to talk about are so unbelievably high, it's a joke. Like, they must be, with the platform, they must be eight, nine inches. Like, proper, these are proper heels. Like, you have to be skilled to be able to walk in these. And it's exactly why I don't really wear them that often. Um, they are from River Island. I believe these were just a pair that were given to me for pat picture purposes pat picture purposes um, and I was asked to leave the studio in these um, which is exactly what I did and they were so high and I think there's a picture of me getting packed outside the studio in these shoes in, a re in quite a short um, silvery skirt with my coat and bags and I was literally like oh my god just like 
I think I'm going to topple over in these shoes. However, they are stunning, stunning shoes. Um, the material is amazing. I love the fact that the heel is a different material to the actual shoe. Um, I can't remember if I've said it, but they're from River Island. Um, lovely. Oh, these look well, don't they? The next pair, again, are a personal, another personal favourite of mine. They are really, really muddy, so beware because I did wear them out at the weekend. So, like, the weekend just gone. They are very muddy. Um, but they are a personal favourite of mine and I wore these. These were the shoes that I changed into after Alan Carr's Chatty Man. So after I wore the gold ones, I wore these in my red dress. They are River Island, very comfy actually. So I'd say just on par with Topshop these ones, quite high. Um, and I love the decoration on the front of the shoe, the big diamonds. Um, yeah, I'd say these are, you know, personal favourites. Um, and I do wear them quite often. As I said, I was out weekend, just gone in them. Um, and the only thing I would say is that they are suede. So when they do get muddy, it's quite hard to get the mud off. So you have to, oh, tip of the day, you have to, when they get muddy, let it dry and then peel the mud off, like pick it off like that. Uh, don't do it with like a makeup wipe or anything because then you'll just like rub the mud more into the suede. But yeah, love them. Next ones I want to talk about, I love. They're really not that comfortable, but I do love them. These bad boys. Um, I wore these on the show, if I remember rightly, for the first results night. Yeah, yeah, first results night, because all the girls are still there. Uh, and I was wearing this really cool little Lazy Oaf number, I think. Um, and my hair was all pink. And yeah, I was wearing these shoes. They are from, I don't know where they're from. It just says truffle in the shoe. Don't know where that is or if that's the shop or whatever. But yes, truffle. Um, love the concept of the heel, the white and the black contrast. They're very high, very, very, very high. And they are just like the other white ones that I've got. The toe isn't that comfortable. There's not a lot of room for your feet in there. Um, however, like I said earlier, no pain, no gain. Um, so I, I do love these and that's why I've kept them. Don't wear them that often, but maybe I should start. So the last pair of shoes that I'm going to talk about are these bad boys. Um, I think I probably wore these shoes every single day after I was given them on X Factor. Um, they are so cool. Where are they from? I don't even know where they're from, and it's so sad. However, I have seen them recently somewhere. Um, they are so cool. They remind me of like what aliens would wear if they come down from space. Beautiful colour. They're like a lilac with white on the bottom. Um, same style as kind of a lot of the shoes that I was given on the show. They have like this kind of bottom, rubbery sort of bottom. But look at that. I did that ages after I come off the show but I still wear them, I stuck it with super glue. Um, so I love these a lot and they're really usual really usual? They're really unique and unusual which I love. Um, so yeah that is my X Factor shoe collection um, or all the ones that are here right now and haven't been lost or in a case or shoved somewhere else. So I love most of those shoes, it's why I've kept them and I'll probably go on to wear them for a really, really long time. And every time I try and get rid of them and say no, I should sell that on Depop or something, I can't because they bring back so many amazing memories. So yeah, if you like this video, um, like, comment and subscribe to this channel. And if you would like to see any of my other shoes, AKA my trainers, which I would love to show you. Um, just comment below and say what you'd like to see and I'll get it done. Thank you, bye.